right, so let's go ahead and jump in and get started creating our page here. Okay, so I've got my terminal open. Uh, I am inside of a directory called code. Inside of this directory, I have another directory called HTML, so I'm going to change into that directory now. I'll issue the CD command and say HTML. Okay, so now I'm in that directory. Now what I want to do inside this HTML directory is make a new directory for our horoscope page project. So what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to say make dir, which will make a new directory uh, named after whatever I type after this. So I'll just call it horoscopes. Okay, and now let's change into that directory. Okay, now we're in the horoscopes directory. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up VS Code and then we'll make our first uh, HTML file inside of this directory and get started creating our page. So to open VS Code, I'll just simply type code period. That'll open VS Code uh, in, with the current directory as the context set up inside VS Code. So if I hit enter on that, we see that VS Code opens up. Uh, we have this welcome screen here uh, and we are it tells us in the explorer on the left here that we are inside the horoscopes directory so currently this directory is empty uh, if you hover over this you see some icons here so this one will create a new file if you click it this one will create a new uh, folder or directory inside of the horoscopes directory so let's just make a new file first so let's go here click the, uh, the new file button and let's call this index.html now index.html is the standard naming for your main HTML page. So when someone navigates to your website, if you have index.html, that will be uh, where they land by default. We'll hit enter on that. So we've made our first HTML file. Notice it ends in the extension .html. Now this file is empty. If we were to open this file in our browser, we would see absolutely nothing. So let's go do that now. So I'm going to go back to my terminal here and I'll just say open index dot html i'll open that up and you see here uh the url in the browser here has the file protocol and it's opening up that file on my local uh, system and the page is empty nothing shows up the title for the page uh, just simply says the name of the file index.html so in order to fix this and get something on our page here we have to write our first html elements inside of that file okay so what we're going to do this first pass we're going to write just a very bare bones uh, structure for our web page okay now going back to VS code here VS code comes with some niceties that will help us get started right away but we're not going to use them just yet okay we're going to write this from uh, scratch so that we can really practice and get this stuff in our fingers and in our brains here okay speaking of getting things in your fingers and brains uh, I also want to encourage you to as you go through this section if there's anything that I say or that you see in this course that resonates with you uh, write a little note down about that so that you can reference it later. So, okay, to get started here, we have to first on our page have an HTML element, okay, inside of our index.html file. So I'm going to first type a less than sign, okay, and then HTML. This is the name of the element that we want to create a tag for. Okay, now tags and elements, uh, tags are part of elements. So what we're writing right now is the opening tag for an HTML element. We can, uh, the, whole, the complete opening tag looks like this. We would end this with a greater than sign now. And you can see VS Code uh, auto generated for us a closing tag here, okay? So the closing tag looks just like the opening tag, but note it starts with this uh, forward slash here uh, before the name of the uh, element tag that we want to use. So let's take this moment to talk about uh, the structure of HTML elements, okay? Most HTML elements have an opening tag and a closing tag okay not all of them do some elements are known as empty elements they don't have a closing tag they are essentially self-closing okay and we'll see some examples of this uh, throughout the section here so again you have an opening tag okay that's this portion here and then a closing tag now inside of the tag is where the content goes okay so i'll just type some characters here this would be considered the content now if we were to save this file and go back to our browser and refresh the page here here we see uh the content that we typed inside of our html element okay so this uh our markup that we've written in our index.html file uh is like the supreme bare bones uh, structure you would need in order to get some text actually showing up on a page here okay and I'm sorry let me uh, increase this font size here for you okay let's do that okay so we've got some content showing up on the page but we're not going to keep that 
uh, that is not going to be our real content. So let's go back to VS Code and let's clear this content out of here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is instead of typing that content inside this HTML uh, element here, I'm going to hit enter in here and put these across separate lines. Okay, because inside of this HTML element, we're going to add two more elements. Okay, so the first tag we're going to write inside or nest inside of uh, the HTML element here. The first element we're going to write is the head element. Okay, so same thing, we'll do a less than sign, head, greater than sign, and you can see VS Code auto completed that for us. Now again, like our HTML element, I'm going to hit enter inside of where we would normally write the content because we're going to add another element inside of here. We're going to add the title element next. Okay, so again, less than uh, sign, and then uh, title, okay, and then greater than sign. And again, you can see uh, VS Code auto completed that. Now inside of title here, I am going to write some content. So let's just say HTML horoscopes. Okay. Now let's save our file and then let's go back to our browser and refresh the page here. So let's refresh. And now if you look in the tab over here, okay, you can see now the content that we wrote inside of that title element inside the head is what is used to provide a name for the tab here, for the page that we're on, okay? So that's how you can set that. Now additionally, inside of the head element, you can put other elements. Um, this is a, uh, normally where you would put things like links to style sheets, uh, which style sheets and CSS we'll get into in another section of the learning path. You would also link to uh, any a JavaScript script in here. You could, you could write that in here using a script tag and point it to a JavaScript file. Also, you can put uh, metadata or meta information about your page inside here by using meta tags, okay? And we'll see some of that stuff down the road here, but right now we wanna to stick to uh, some basics so that we can really get up and running uh, quickly here, okay? Now it's important, before we move on to the next element, the elements I just talked about, linking to the style sheet, the JavaScript files, or any meta tags in here, that's that stuff will not show up on the page, okay? That's meta information, that's information meant uh, for machines. Um, for other computers to read and, and get information from, okay? Specifically the meta tags, the style sheet and the JavaScript files are for your pages. Okay, so next what we're going to do is after our closing tag uh, of the head element here, I'll hit enter and go on a new line. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to write a body element, okay? So again, we'll do less than, body, greater than, and then let's go ahead and expand this uh, across a couple lines here. So inside the body element here is where the content goes, the main content for your web page, the stuff that you actually want your uh, visitors of your site to be able to see. Okay, so for example, let's just write, uh, this is the main body content. Okay, now if we save this and we go back to our browser and we, we reload our page here, there you can see that the main content has showed up now and we still have our uh, title text or title element content showing up here. Now earlier I said this is uh, sort of the absolute minimum that you need to get a, a web page uh, to display, okay? Now one thing I wanna touch on uh, before we wrap up this introductory video here is another important piece that you need to make sure to add into your uh, web pages and it's one of the first things you uh, should have it on the top of your web page, okay? So if we go up to the top here, if we go in front of this opening HTML tag, I'll hit enter to push everything down. Uh, what I wanna do now is write uh, a doc type directive here, okay? So this is going to look much different than uh, the other HTML elements that we currently have on the page, okay? So it starts off the same, we'll do a less than sign, but you can see already it pops up here in VS Code. So you write exclamation point doc type, all capital letters. Next thing we'll do is we'll put a space and we'll just simply type HTML. Now let's hop over to MDN and read up a little bit about this doc type directive here. So over on MDN here, uh, here we are in the doc type section. In HTML, the doc type is the required piece that we just writ, uh, wrote that doc type HTML uh, preamble found at the top of all documents and its sole purpose is to prevent a browser from switching into so-called quirks mode, okay? So what this means is that the doc type directive uh, ensures that the browser will make a best effort attempt at following the relevant specifications rather than a different rendering mode that's incompatible with some specifications, okay? Now that's a lot of stuff, but just know that it, it helps control browser behavior and not go into uh, this quirks mode, which you can click on this link and read more about what quirks mode is. So with this preamble added here, if we go back to our uh, page here, if we refresh, 
uh, we can see that nothing is different here, okay? So it doesn't change anything, but it does help the browser to uh, try and render everything correctly. So this is really what I would consider to be the minimum uh, HTML document structure or skeleton needed to have in place in order to have a uh, HTML page uh, displayed in the browser. So with this, we'll wrap this video up here and move on to the next video where we will, instead of having this, just this content here, we'll start adding uh, our actual heading to our web page. Okay. So I will see you there.